Hey everybody, welcome to Prittle Mondays. Prittle Mondays, where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. Welcome to Prittle Mondays. And what are Prittle Mondays? Well, here uh, I work on armchair treasure hunts and I'm trying to get better at working at armchair treasure hunts. One of the ways I do that is to work on puzzles and riddles. And hopefully these puzzles and riddles will help me get better at armchair treasure hunts by helping my vocabulary. Uh, let's see what else, helping my lateral thinking thinking outside the box, and um, vocabulary, thinking outside the box, and there was something else, but that's pretty good. Hey, Jimmy Fast, Jason Dent, hello, Evan Penn, welcome. Uh, if you have a puzzle really you want me to work on, uh, you can email me at ajrainville1973 at gmail.com. And let's see, why don't we go ahead and get started. John Holm, welcome, John. You want a cookie too? All right. Well, we have emoji cookies here. That's what we give out. <laughs> Tony. Welcome, Tony Rusi. We have our first riddle right here. Uh, under pressure is the only way I work, and by myself is the only way I am hurt. What am I? And I, this is a particular riddle, and this is how we know John Holm retracted his message. Hey, John Holmes, all right. <laughs> welcome. Under pressure is the only way I work, and by myself is the only way I am hurt. What am I? Jimmy Fast thinks it's a pen. Under pressure is the only way I work, okay, and by myself is the only way I am hurt. I see where you're going with that, Jimmy Fast. Like a fountain pen kind of thing. Under pressure is the only way I work. And by myself is the only way I am hurt. What am I? Pencil too? Pen, pencil. Could be something else. <laughs> so it's a what am I? So we are looking for some type of object. Jason then says heart. Okay, I can see heart. I don't know what the answer is. I, I've got all my riddles today. I have not seen what the answers are. So I get to participate too, but I'm stumped with this one. Under pressure is the only way I work. And by myself is the only way I am hurt. What am I? How many letters? <laughs> We're going to hit riddle what next. We'll have to have many letters next time. <laughs> we don't have any idea how many letters. All right, I'll give another 30 seconds. Under pressure is the only way I work, and by myself is the only way I am hurt. Mm. I don't know. Answer is a diamond. Oh, a diamond can only be cut by another diamond. Uh, under pressure is the only way I work, and by myself is the only way I am hurt. Okay. The only way I work. Oh, Jimmy Fast got a boo, boo for that one? No, I like it. It's the only way I am hurt is because you can only cut a diamond with another diamond. But under pressure is, I guess they're talking about how diamonds are made. Eh. It's not as terrible as Jimmy Fast says it is. Not great, but not terrible. All right. This is now we're over to Riddle Watt. I'll, I'll give the riddle first. Shaped like a candy cane, I can assure you I'm not for eating, although you put me in your mouth, what am I? Oh my. Shaped like a candy cane, I can assure you I'm not for eating, although you put me in your mouth, what am I? <laughs> yes, it is the Jimmy Fest. All right. We're looking for a seven letter word here. This is Riddle Watt. R I D D L E W O T. This is my favorite riddle website. Finger. Although you put me in your mouth, F I N G E R. That's finger six letters. Dental suctioning device. I was thinking that too. but And I was also thinking of a pipe, but th both of those things don't have, uh, are not seven letters. I was thinking of a pipe, but it doesn't work. 
This is my favorite Riddle website. If you ever want to work on riddles on your own, make an account. It's free. If you can figure out what is the front page riddle, then you can put your own riddle and it will go on the front page. And this website has been up long enough. There's over a thousand riddles on this website. Uh, they're generally riddles that are not ones that you see online. They're not ones you can just sort of Google search. And so this is why I kind of like them. They're usually hard to figure out. And um, yeah, you're given the number of characters and it gives you the riddle. All right, I'll say the riddle one more time. He's got some guesses out there. Shaped like a candy cane. I can assure you I'm not for eating. Although you put me in your mouth, what am I? Fish hook is enough, is the right number of letters. Fish hook. Nope. It is not fish hook. Snorkel, says Tony Rusi. Snorkel. It is snorkel. Tony Rusi. Nice. Tony Rusi gets a snorkel. There is a cookie for Tony Rusi. Shaped like a candy cane, I can assure you I'm not for eating. Although you put me in your mouth, what am I? All right. Sassy, Auntie Mame, Hannah, welcome, welcome. We are here on RiddleWatt, my favorite Riddle website. Eleven characters. I am the region between black and white. Mm. <laughs> that cookie has raisins. It's Jimmy Fast. <laughs> Oatmeal raisin cookies. <laughs> I am the region between black and white. We're looking for something with 11 characters. The gray area, okay. The gray area. It's not that, I'm gonna say that they're British and I'm gonna put it G-R-E-Y. Okay, it's not gray in both spellings. Can it be two words? It, it could be two words, it could be three words. Uh, that's one of the, the difficulties, we're given the uh, characters I am the region between black and white. Yeah, it could be two words. We've even had abbreviations on this on this website, which I'm not a fan of abbreviations. Does the space count as a character? It, it does in this. If I put in a space. Newspaper, says Jimmy Fast. Oh, newspaper is two letters short. Or A, is it gonna be like that? I hope, sure, hope not. All right, doesn't look like it, it accepts um, spaces. So it looks like spaces don't count, Hannah. So there's 11 characters with no spaces. Hey, Copper Dan, welcome. I am the region between black and white, 11 characters. I am the region between black and white. Grayscale. Grayscale, I don't know. The rainbow, T-H-E, rainbow, or the rainbow. But I like the thinking. I like the thinking. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see what the incorrect answers are. Oh, goodness. Shade of gray. Grayness, Mississippi between gray. Susie Fenhaven, welcome. The spectrum, the spectrum. 
It is not the spectrum. Dappled gray. D A P P L E D. And I'll do it again with the other gray spelling. All right, it's not that either. <laughs> Jimmy Fast, I like your thinking. Lack and wit. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and figure out, get with the first one. Yeah, yeah, I like Jimmy's answer too. We're going to see if I can get the first letter. Refresh. Help. View hint. First letter, 50 coins. Sure. First letter is a U. First letter is a U. U as in... I'm trying to think of the military term for U. I don't know what it is. Underwater. U as in underwater. Ultraviolet. Is that what it is? Or ultraviolet. Maybe that's what the answer is. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is not the answer. Did I spell it right? Ultraviolet. Yes. I, I like segregation. Segregation. Even though it doesn't start with a U. I'll go ahead and put these in. Everywhere. Everywhere is not enough letters. Ultraviolet. I like that. So it's a U. U as in underwater. I am the region between black and white. We're looking for 11 characters. Whew. I am the region between black and white. <laughs> I'm having a hard time just coming up with even a short word that starts with a U. Mm. I am kind of stuck. I have some riddle unlock keys. I'm going to try to use those. I'll give it another 30 seconds. I am the region between black and white. It starts with a U, U as an underwater. Ultramarine. Ultramarine is not the answer. I am the region between black and white. Is it? No, I was going I was thinking like good and evil. And then when you're in limbo, ultrasound, I'll try it. Ultrasound is not enough letters. Ultrasound is 10. Underground, sure. Guess away. Underground is the right number of letters. Nope. Hmm. I am the region between black and white. Black and white are capitalized. I want I wonder if that has an importance. Although I can't think of any countries or if region means areas. Cuz if black and black and white are capitalized, do you think that would be important? Like brown <laughs> the alphabet between B and W? C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Doesn't quite make it, but I like the thinking. Because, hey, brown is capitalized in the Forrest Fenn poem. Unequivocal. All right, you got it. Unequivocal. Right number of letters. We will give it a shot. It's not unequivocal. Undetermined. Undetermined is n too many letters. Unless I misspelled it. Undetermined. I'll just do undetermined if that's all right. It's not undetermined. 
undiscovered. Undiscovered is too many letters. It's all good, Jimmy Fast. It's all good. All right. Unrelatable, says Sassy. Unrelatable. Unrelatable. Under it. All right. So I think you're. you're <laughs> I think you guys are looking up words. Unless I misspelled underwritten. Oops, underwritten. Underwritten is too many letters. Unseparated. All right. You still think it's singularity? Okay. I am the region between black and white. Black and white are capitalized. <laughs> it's all right, Auntie Mame. It's all good. It's all good. I am the region between black and white. Black and white are capitalized. If there's anything I've learned in riddles is that, you know, usually there's a reason for certain things. They might be not your first thought, but it could be some, your second or third thoughts. And in cryptic crosswords, every word is important in the clue. Every word is important. Oh, sweetie's there. Sweetie says hi. All right. It begins with a U. The riddle is I am the region between black and white, 11 characters. All right. I've got some riddle unlock keys. We will proceed. The word is uncertainty. Uncertainty. Uncertainty, the area between black and white. That's not bad. I am the region between black and white. It's uncertainty. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, they got some like it, some don't like it. I am the region between black and white uncertainty. Okay. We will move on. Newest riddles. No math. Looks like I have cat ears. <laughs> I got the bridge. Bridge. Riddle five. Okay, it's a long one. <laughs> I carry a song that many do know, though I've fooled a great many across time. My song isn't truly what you think you hear. You've been fooled by mere stone of lime. I'm misleading to most, yet my secret is out. I'm no longer a mystery to thee. But I, if I were to be held in your hands, you'd still be amazed by me. Five character word. Imagination. Imagination. <laughs> I'm going for a five letter word I carry a song that many do know though I fooled a great many across time my song isn't truly what you think you hear you've been fooled by mere stone of lime I'm misleading to most yet my secret is out I'm no longer a mystery to thee but if I were to be held in your hands, you'd still be amazed by me. Sassy says chalk. It's not chalk. I see radio. Not radio. Shell, lime. Okay, there we go. I see. I'm wondering what this stone of lime is. Shell, shell. Everybody likes shell. It wasn't shell. But I, I, I like that one too. Five letter word. I carry a song that many do know, though I've fooled a great many across time. Well, that works for the shell too. My song isn't truly what you think you hear. You've been fooled by a mere stone of lime. Yeah, I like shell too. I'm misleading to most, yet my secret is out. I'm no longer a mystery to thee, but if I were to be held in your hands, you'd still be amazed by me. A 
limestone. I'm not sure. Echoes, says Susie. Echoes. Yeah, conch. Oh, there we go. There it is. Jimmy Fast got it. Conch. I carry a song that many do know, though I fooled a great many across time. My song isn't truly what you think you hear. You've been fooled by a mere stone of lime. I'm misleading to most, yet my secret is out. I'm no longer a mystery to thee, but if I were to be held in your hands, you'd still be amazed by me. All right, that's not bad. I, I like shell. I like conch. I'm just looking at the last part of the riddle. I'm misleading to most, yet my secret is out. I'm no longer a mystery to me, but if it, I can understand being amazed by a conch in your hands, but I'm not sure about what the secret is, but that's all right. It works. It works for me. Cookie for Jimmy Fast. Cookie for Jimmy Fast. More riddles, please. No math. Four-letter word. I am in the ocean on documents, submarine doors, and goggles. What am I? I am in the ocean on documents, submarine doors, and goggles. What am I? Seal, 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 seal. Okay. I had a word, but that wasn't the word I was thinking. Seal is the answer. I'm in the ocean on documents, submarine doors, and goggles. Nice. Who had it first? Hannah had it first. Nice. Cookie for Hannah. My first thought was film, and then I got stuck on film. Okay, next riddle. Riddles. I once was a person, but I've long since passed. My organs have been removed and I'm all wrapped up. Some people believe I can come back to haunt you, despite the fact that I have long been deceased. Five letter word. Five letter word. I once was a person, but I've long since passed. My organs have been removed and I'm all wrapped up. Some people believe I can come back to, ha to haunt you despite the fact I have long been deceased. All right, I was thinking the same thing. I think everybody else was. This is a hard riddle. Mummy is the answer. <laughs> Hannah got it first. Lots of answers. Lots of people got the answer, though. <laughs> Zombie. Cookie for Hannah. Nice. These are supposed to be hard riddles, but let's continue the next one. Sure, what do you got? 10 letters. I can speak without making a sound. No, no, Jason. No. Um, the way it works on the um, in the chat room, Jason, it will show up in your chat first because um, when you type it in yourself, it goes to your, your chat box first, but when it goes through everything else, it will, it will come up with someone else. I, I believe you are first, Jason Dent. But we can, I, I go by, by what I see here. So it will show up in, it does have a chance of showing up there, but the lag will take it when it goes through all the internet. It will take longer. I, I believe you're right, Jason, that it comes first on you, but that's, it takes longer to get all the way around. Sign language. I can speak without making sound. Everyone has what sign language. Uh, sign language is more than 10. The fix is in, says Jason. <laughs> he wants his emoji cookies. <laughs> sign language. I like that answer. Sign language. Is there a... It's got to be something else. Yeah, 
Yeah, sign language is just too many letters. I can speak without making a sound. With a hint, everyone has one. Ten characters. Expression, expression. Oh, jeez. Expression. Expression is not the answer, but I like the answer. Like a facial expression. You speak, but without making a sound. Pheromones. Pheromones is not it. I can speak without making a sound. And welcome, Alan Kay. I can speak without making a sound. And with a hint, everyone has one. How can you speak without making a sound? Hmm. I like sign language. I like the expression. I'm going to see if I can pull up the first letter. First letter is a C. C as in Charlie. I can speak without making a sound. I can speak without making a sound. Phalanges. I don't know what... I don't recognize that word, Tony Rusi. I can speak without making a sound. Character. Characters, plural. Clickbaits. I can speak without making a sound. It starts with a C. I'm not sure. Phalanges are fingers. Consonants. Consonants. I want to make sure I spell it right. Is it conscience? <laughs> All right, I was working off of Susie's word. <laughs> Hannah has it. All right, Hannah. Whew. All right. I was just taking a guess with, with something. <laughs> Cookie for Hannah. Good job, Hannah. Oh, that's what you meant? That's what you meant, Susie? All right. Cookie for Hannah and a cookie for Susie for, for what she meant to do. Susie Fenhaven. It's all good. I'm not, I'm not very good at spelling either. I'm an engineer. I'm a numbers guy. <laughs> <laughs> Susie gets a cookie too. Hannah gets a cookie. Everybody, except Jason, apparently gets cookies. <laughs> All right, we're going to do one more of these. We're going to do one more. I'm going to make sure we get hard riddles though. Hard riddles, sort by difficulty. Six letter word. <laughs> I am a princess sitting on a sour teacup. My synonym is mentally unstable. Six letters, six characters. I am a princess sitting on a sour teacup. My synonym is mentally unstable. I'm thinking we're looking for a synonym of princess and sour teacup. Yeah, it is a cryptic. That is cryptic. My synonym is mentally unstable. Six letter word, princess sitting on a sour teacup. I am a princess sitting on a sour teacup. Is it one of these first letters of the words? P-S-O-A-S-T? I don't think so. Insane. Oh, but the synonym. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mentally unstable. Yeah, sour, tart. 
on a sour teacup. We're looking for six characters. Pouting is seven. Mm. I am a princess sitting on a sour teacup. Princess sitting on a sour teacup. I don't know. Bitter. It's not bitter. Prissy. It's not prissy. Yeah, it is a tough one. I am a princess sitting on a sour teacup. My synonym is mentally unstable. So I bet you're all kind of thinking about what's a synonym for mentally unstable. Like we had Laurie James guest insane. Crazy. Isn't there a word like touched? Other synonyms of mentally unstable. Psycho. Psycho. Hmm. All right, I'm going to get the get the hint for the first letter. Please. First letter is a C. <laughs> first letter is a C. Teeter. Princess sitting on a sour teacup. I don't know. <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> uh, okay. I see where you're going with that. So princess is a metaphor of something. Uh oh, okay, we got all kinds of cuckoo. It's not cuckoo, if I, I spelled it right. Yes, cracks, it's not cracks. Cranky, it's not cranky. Cringe, it's not cringe. I am a princess sitting on a sour teacup. My synonym is mentally unstable. Crazed. C-R-A-Z-E-D. Crazed. Oh, I thought that one might be it. I really hope this princess sitting on a sour teacup is... is um, once you get the answer, you can see what it is. Cocked. C-O-C-K-E-D. Yeah, maybe there's like a British type of version of mentally unstable that we're trying to think of. All right, we know it's not, we know it doesn't begin with a K. It's all good. It's all good. C-O. Coke guy? Not familiar with that one. Lemon inner tea. Hmm. What was the, um, is it Alice in Wonderland? Is there some Alice in Wonderland? Well, she wasn't, I don't think she was a princess. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not good with the fairy tales. Kaput, but C-A-P-U-T-E. Okay. Daenerys, Tartarian. <laughs> Spoiled. I don't know. Princess Sour Toadstool. I'm, I'm stumped. I am a princess sitting on a sour teacup. My synonym is mentally unstable. Yeah, it's not... Uh, I don't think Alice in Wonderland... Alice was a princess, though. All right, I'm going to go see what the answer is. I've got more riddle unlock keys. 
cashew. I am a princess sitting on a sour teacup. Cashew? Cashew? All right. Let's look up cashew definition. Merriam Webster, cashew. American tree, edible kernel, okay. Take for example, all right, I don't need to see any more examples. Is there anything other than that noun? More definitions. A type of roasted nut that has a curved shape, okay. A curved edible nut. That's it. Also cashew nut. I don't know. Nut is. Oh, okay. Cashew nut. Roasted nut. I'm still, okay, nutty, yes. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Cashew isn't even a nut. Okay. I, I, I'm baffled, I don't know. Yeah, I don't get the sour teacup princess part either. I don't know. All right, well, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> we are going to hide that. Nope, not that one. I'm going to blow myself up here for a second. All right, I wanted to let you guys know that I have a little bit of an announcement. I don't have a, a button like Cal Lazar's has, breaking news. But... I am making my own treasure hunt all by myself. It is coming out soon. It is a British term. Okay, okay. That's good to know. So I'm coming up with my own treasure hunt. And what is the prize? You might recognize this. These are the, one of the nickel-plated medallions. However, this one is a little bit different. There is an engraving similar to my avatar engraved in the bottom. Little bridge, little tiny bridge there engraved in the bottom. That is the treasure. So you should keep in mind, this was a non-numbered, this was a non-numbered nickel-plated Forrest Fenn medallion. This is the treasure. It has something to do with the bridge, says Jimmy Fast. Uh, I'm working on the treasure and I've got some elements worked out, some elements I'm still trying to work out. But keep me in mind, you know, watch my channel. I'm going to release it uh, in a video form. And I'm going to put it on Mysterious Writings. So keep that in mind and check back. You'll be able to participate in a new treasure hunt. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so it'll be armchair plus there will be a boot on the ground, boots on the ground version uh, portion of the armchair treasure hunt. It will be free, uh, but it will have a boots on the ground uh part of the treasure hunt. Sassy's probably already solved it. <laughs> Haven't even be, hasn't even been released yet, and Sassy's already figured it out. <laughs> uh, there, I'm smaller now. 
All right, we're going to do some rebuses. These are usually some words or picture, and that will mean a common word or phrase or saying. And this is our first one right here. Let me bring the chat back. What state am I in? I am in West Virginia. Hide it under forest fence chest. <laughs> state won't even allow us to go outside. Yeah, I know. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. That's what I think it is. It's going to be London Bridge, says Jimmy Fast. <laughs> Counterclockwise is my guess. Anticlockwise. Yes, who had counterclockwise? Hannah had that. Cookie for Hannah. And I'm going to put the chat somewhere else so I can see it without being blocked. All right, let me bring the next one out. All right, that one doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> yeah, cross check. That's what it's got to be, right? Cross-check. Who got it first? Anagram got it first. Welcome, Anagram. Cookie for Anagram. All right, next, Rebus. Mm. Yeah, so these are quick. Sometimes it's just a matter of who can type the fastest. But I'm not, I don't even know the answer to this one. Is there a phrase like sit up sit up straight and shut it down or something? Sit down, shut up. Oh, sit down, shut up. I haven't heard this expression before. Sit down and shut up. All right. Cookie for Hannah, who got it first. I said, a lot of people know that one. All right, Jimmy Fast, you might have to refresh your stream. Might have to refresh your stream. Jason Dent is back. We're doing rebuses, Jason. This is a rebus. Oh, okay. It's actually somewhat topical, too. <laughs> I'll get the cookie ready. Hannah uses that phrase all the time. <laughs> uh, Sassy got it. Made in China. All right, Jason, Jason, just so you know, I'll show it here. Sassy got it just a little bit for, before you do. <laughs> Cookie for Sassy. Made in China is the answer. At least, okay, I'm, I'm giving the cookie, but I'm pretty sure I can see. Made, the word made is inside the word China. Made in China. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'll get this cookie ready too. Yeah, I know, Jason. It's, sometimes it's a matter of who can who can type the fastest. Red-handed. That's got to be it. Red-handed for Susie. Cookie for Susie Fenhaven, who got it first. Coronavirus. <laughs> Next one. Hmm. I don't know this one. At least not right off the bat. I don't know. Ten questions. Five Q plus five five Q five Q. Is it like does it sound like something? Five Q. Skew and skew. Is it is like five that's like an S? Skew and skew. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> Ten Q. Thank you. 10Q, thank you. That's what it is? Thank you, 10Q? 
Ten Q, thank you. Ten Q, thank you. They do sound similar. Ten Q, wow. I got it to just say it out loud. Tony Rusi got it too, but Sassy got it first. Ten Q, thank you. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I like the ones when you see the answer is like, ah, oh. terrify tissue. All right, next Rebus. Hmm. Next, Rebus. Pigeon English. Steam Engine. Steam in. Steam Engine. Okay. Steam Engine. Nice. I didn't see that at all. Good job, Lori James. I did see the Steam, but I couldn't figure out what that was supposed to be. I even saw T. TEA is like, I was trying to figure out T and Jesmini. Nope. Good job. Terrify tissue. Care if I kiss you. Okay. Care if I kiss you. Terrify tissue. Pigeon English. Yeah, it sounds like, when it sounds like something else. Not that one. Uh, M E. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> it's ones. It could be like once, O-N-C-E. Once after me. Me ones. Me once, once after me. I don't know. Me ones. <laughs> me ones. I don't know. Minions, says Sassy. Me ones, minions. I don't know. I don't know. I'll give it a few more seconds. We got M E and then we've got six ones. Me six ones. I don't know. Someone is following me. Someone's following me. Ah, uh, someone's following me. <laughs> someone is following me someone is following me that's not bad i like it i like it someone's or someone is following me sassy doesn't like it <laughs> oh well All right, we're going to switch gears again. We're going to go, I've got two riddles set aside. I don't know the answer. They get a tad bit abstract, but I like it. All right, yeah. I will say uh, rebuses are fun. What is two days after the day after the day before yesterday? What is two days after the day, after the day before yesterday? Jason Dent says Thursday. What is two days after the day, after the day before yesterday? Is it today? Tomorrow? The same day? Next week? 
<laughs> the answers are all over the place. Well, the day after yesterday is today. Two days after the day after the day before yesterday. History, the day before. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to see who got the answer first because I'm, I'm not sure. Tomorrow. All right, let me give the cookie out. Who said tomorrow first? Evan Penn. Cookie for Evan Penn. Cookie for Evan Penn. Oh, there are more tomorrows came up later on. The day before yesterday was two days ago. The day after the day before yesterday was yesterday. Two days after that, two days after yesterday is tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'm going to do one more riddle. Let's see if we can get this little bigger text. Of the king I am blue, and of the peasant I am red. Of the frog I am cold, and of the dog I am hot instead. What am I? Not far, but too far to walk, says Tony. <laughs> of the king I am blue, of, and of the peasant I am red. Of the frog I am cold, and of the dog, I am hot instead. What am I? Blood, 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 blood. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, blue blood. Peasant is red blood of the frog. Cold blooded and the dog is hot blooded. Wow, you guys got it. Oh, that's got to be it. Of the king, I am blue. A blue blood is a, is a royal. Peasant is red blooded. Of the frog, I'm cold, because frogs are cold-blooded and dogs are hot-blooded. Wow, you guys are good. I didn't see that at all. <laughs> I didn't see it at all. Let me make sure a cookie is appropriately applied. Who had blood first? Hannah had it first. Jason, oh, Jason just got beat out again. Cookie for Hannah. Man, blue blood, red-blooded, cold-blooded, and hot-blooded. Dog's average temp is 101. Wow, okay. All right, we're going to wrap it up there. I want to thank everybody for participating in Priddle Monday today. We had some fun. We got uh, some definitions. Apparently, cashew is something to do with sour teacups and, and something. I'm not exactly sure how, but who knows? Uh, I hope everybody has a good time. The Hint of Riches is coming up next at uh, about seven minutes from now. The Hint of Riches. I believe uh, Calazars is having some technical difficulties, but K-Pro will still be going on. Sasha is mad at me now. <laughs> All right. Well, just to show you know, let's see. All right. Hannah. Hannah is right there. And Jason is right there. <laughs> I know it's on your screen. It looks like it's first, but it, it's not the case when it comes when it comes to me. It goes through all the tubes and the wires, and then when it comes to me, <laughs> she saw she got it 15 seconds before Hannah. Oh man, <laughs> switch to live chat. Yeah, it's it's the it's the delay. You're on top chat. Oh, is there some setting? All right, I'll go look into it, Jason. I'll see if I can reduce the lag. I'm on top chat instead of live chat. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. So I hope everybody had a good time. I will be back next Monday. The Hint of Riches is coming up next. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good one.